how do you pull yourself out of a rut? That is a fabulous question, Donna. I really enjoy this question because it's gonna happen. You're going to get into a rut. I have gotten into a rut. I have actually gotten into a lot of ruts. Um, it sucks when you get into a rut, you're feeling down, whatever. The only person that can really pull you out of it is you. And that sucks even worse because hi, you're already feeling down and now you're supposed to make yourself feel better. So how do I do it? Um, a couple of techniques. Sometimes I have a good old fashioned pity party and I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to work on my business today. I'm going to go watch TV. And I do. And it doesn't help me feel better, but it does help me kind of de-stress a little bit. That way I can kind of go at my rut <laughs> from a different perspective when I'm ready to go back. I'll also take time off and go posh. Go posh myself. Go sit in a bathtub for an hour and do three face masks. Make sure there's only one off mask and two on masks if you're doing three. But still, go posh yourself. Remember why you joined. Posh can get tough sometimes. It really sucks when you miss a monthly award that you were really hoping to earn. It really sucks when you don't earn a trip to Greece that you were really hoping to earn. But you didn't join posh to earn a monthly award or to earn a trip to Greece. Why did you join? Go back and think about why you joined and if you're having a hard time with that then you really need to spend some time soul searching and remember why you joined and once you remember that write it down because you want to share that story with your potential new teammates right in the future and even your customers it's really beneficial for your customers to understand why you joined why you continue to posh why they should be continuing to support you obviously they love the products but I've got news for you they're not buying the products just because they love them they love you too and they love supporting somebody so make sure to remember to make your customers a part of that Okay, so back to when you're in a rut. Posh yourself, remember your why, take time off, reach out to another posh sister. If you're not super duper, reach out to your sponsor. Not everybody is super duper close with their sponsor, so reach out to a posh sister. Find a BFF in posh that you can lament with when you're feeling down. Because obviously we don't want to be taking to the team page when we're feeling down. That's not the purpose of a team page. What you're going to do if you go to the team page with that kind of... I don't want to say attitude because it's not an attitude we all get it sometimes but that those kinds of feelings you're gonna bring other people down and that's <laughs> I swear I'm sorry guys I swear sometimes <laughs> anyway so we don't want to be bringing it to the team page because then we just bring other people down and it just creates a whole aura of wah, wah, wah. we want to make sure that we're getting it out though because we don't want to keep the wah, wah, wahs in our brains right we want to share it with somebody so I've got I my circle has grown bless their hearts <laughs> but I've got a handful of people that I can absolutely I'm having a bad day I don't want to posh today I'm over it today I can just <coughs> to my friend and get it out and they can help build me back up and then I feel better and I can go back at it later that day or the next day or the next week, whatever. Your posh business is not going to die if you take two hours off. It's not going to die if you take two days off. It might die if you take two weeks off. It 100% will die if you take two months off. So know that you can totally take a couple of hours, even a couple of days. Remember your why and get back to it. You guys, Posh opportunity is insane. I joined a little over two years ago. I know I've already told you that. I was consultant number 16,210. We're just now crossing over 100,000 consultants, but of that, we've got 60,000 that are active and they define active by like, I don't know, placing an order in the last six months or something. But if you paid any kind of attention whatsoever to the Greece incentive tracker, I had brand new people join my team and put PV in last month and they were like number, I don't know, 35,000 or something. You guys, there is so much opportunity with Posh. I just got on a tangent, but we're gonna go with it because there's not that many poshers out there. And of the poshers that are out there, there's not that many that are actively working their business. When you actively work your business, it will grow, I promise you. You've gotta get posh on the people, you've gotta follow up, and then you've gotta ask them to buy, host, or join. 
You've got to ask the question in order to get a response. And if you don't ask the question, it's always going to be no. And follow up is a whole nother thing that I could talk about for 45 minutes because it is a very easy thing to do, but so many people don't do it. You've got to follow up and you've got to follow up more than five or 10 times. There, I said it. Yep, one, two, three times, it's not enough. You're not gonna get the sale, you're not gonna get the party, you're not gonna get the new teammate in most cases in those first three touches. You're going to get them in five to 10 touches. So it's very super important, but I want you guys to really understand how much opportunity there is because when I first joined, I thought, oh, everybody already, already does posh, blah, blah, blah. I learned about it in an online forum, like in a group. So I felt like all of my friends already knew about Posh, but it's simply not true. There's tremendous opportunity. Go work your business every single day. When you get into a rut, that's okay. Deal with the rut, take the time off, Posh yourself, remember your why, and then get back to it because it is absolutely worth your effort. I wish you guys the best of luck in your businesses. Bye.